right, Loy Macedo speaking to you from LoyMacedo.com. Who's Loy Macedo? Think personal branding. Okay, before you do watch the video, I just want to take your feedback. How do you think is this camera set up? Because before my camera was here, the iMac was here. You could see this side. Now I've put it back to the old position. I've changed the setup. You must have seen my video. So give me your feedback. How is this setup where you can see the books at the back? Or feel free to offer your suggestions if you feel something has to be changed here and there. And this is the first video of the new setup. Let's see. I'll keep changing as time goes on. Okay, uh, that's one. The second thing before I do more on with this video, it's three o'clock in the morning. The reason I'm slightly delayed with my videos is because uh, uh, there was thunder and lightning here in Samui. Like it was like raining cats and dogs, and then the power blackout took place after a very long time, actually. Uh, and uh, we lost power for nearly six to eight hours, which is a very rare phenomenon, especially after COVID, because after COVID, uh, almost 80 to 90% of the people on this island were not there. So now Russians and Ukrainians have totally flooded, uh, fl uh, you know, Samui. So every house, like to give you an idea, uh, even before COVID, there were like six houses available here. And if you see my videos, when I go walking, there is one house at the uh, turning juncture, which is empty. Now, after COVID, especially after, you know, the Russia, Ukraine, uh, for this problem, all the houses, all, including that one which was never selling, including the one that was never going on rent, including the houses near my place, which nobody used to take, is all full, is all full. And literally, there are inquiries coming almost every single day in Facebook groups. Can I get a house? I'm looking for a house. It's become like uh, the property bubble where people are selling houses now at exorbitant prices. Like before it was, I'm just giving you this information before I do move forward. So maybe it can help you. Um, in terms of understanding how the Russia-Ukraine war is impacting global economies. Uh, before the rent for one month for, say, a small apartment was 5,000 uh, baht. Now that same is being rented out for 15 to 45,000 baht. Can you, can you digest that? What was 5,000 per month is now from 15 to 45,000. So go figure. Anyway, just thought I'll uh, get this out of the way. So there'll be plenty of electricity shortages. So maybe I'll have to adjust my timing. It, it just messed up everything. Anyway, having gotten that out of the way, do first give me your feedback about how is this new setup. And I'm just keeping updated with the electricity issues. Okay, now uh, coming to the news that I really wanted to share. Um, look, I'm aware, before I do start, this is about the incident that happened in India where a student set the teacher on fire. Okay, the principal. Now, before I do move into this, I'm very aware that many of these incidents take place in other countries. Like in USA, um, there are students who literally bring guns to schools. There is even cases where three-year-old, four-year-old, they're bringing guns and they're shooting. Uh, then there are, I just saw this share from Hodge Twins. They are very popular YouTubers and based in US. I'm not a big fan of their style. Uh, but they sent a tweet whereby they showed a video of a young man who is in his 16 or 18 in college. Um, the teacher is walking, lady, and he just runs. It's too graphic. I can't show it. So uh, you can just Google search or I'll put a link down below. He runs and he whacks the teacher with a, with his fist and she's knocked out. And then he doesn't stop. He goes on top of her and keeps pounding her head and body. And uh, they had to call the security and all that. And the reason for this is uh, she took his PlayStation or something. Okay. So I'm very aware that in USA... A lot of these crimes, a lot of these problems are taking place with students. They're taking guns. Like even that uh, during uh, Black Lives Matter, that boy, Kyle or whatever his name is, he took an automatic rifle to shoot others. He went to a place which was far away from where he stays, taking an automatic rifle. So, you know, America, 
their culture, their norms is very different. And in fact, uh, just before I made this video, it seems one uh, sports star father, he is 15 year old son. He has just announced that his son has changed his gender, means not surgery. He's just changed his gender and changed his name and he's changed his pronouns and he's celebrating. He's only 15, that boy. So now he's dressing up like a girl. So we live in, USA is a very strange place with very strange uh, principles. In fact, uh, I'll be making a video later on whereby um, it seems in USA, one teacher who teaches sexual education, sex education, was actually teaching, uh, was act, uh, showed, I'm, I'm not joking about this, Ben Shapiro, is, you can Google search, I'll see if I can put that link. Uh, Three-year-old children, three-year-old boys and girls, this teacher showed a penis uh, and a vagina, private parts, and he also showed videos where they were having a climax, entering, he showed sexual scenes, he showed all this. And uh, his, and he admitted this. He admitted, uh, saying that we need to educate children and not uh, make them feel this is something to be shy about. They should be very comfortable with their sexuality. And so the point I'm trying to say is, if this news was in the U.S., anything of these, it's normal. Uh, this this country is such whereby. They have so many rights and privileges. They don't know what to do. They're just bored. They just they just want to experiment with something new. I'll change my pronouns. Oh, I'm bored. I'll come out with my sexuality. Okay, uh, we'll sexualize children. We'll show them drag queens. We'll take them to, uh, we'll show them uh, porn and call it sex education and all that. So USA, I, I'm not surprised. And I wouldn't be surprised because that is how that culture, that society is moving towards. They have so much of freedom. Uh, they have sick, demented people who normalize things. In fact, even pedophiles are now called uh, small, no, uh, people, who are, people who are attracted to small people, individuals who are attracted to small people. Small people mean children. So they are not called pedophiles. They are just called, they are sexually attracted to small people. Okay. So they are trying to normalize pedophilia also. So. I, I am, what I'm trying to tell you is I'm aware that all these problems take place in other parts of the world. However, being an Indian passport holder, having, my family is Indian, uh, my friends are Indian, my majority of my followers are Indian. So my focus is more towards the problems happening in India. Okay. Uh, it wouldn't make sense if I speak on a, pro, a shooting or mass shooting of a small boy in uh, USA or in their college. But if I were to speak on something related to what is happening in India, my viewers who are majority Indians would relate much more. So that's what I'm trying to make you understand. Now, having said that, why this news is shocking me and why we need to address this issue and not justify by saying, oh, there are crimes taking place in USA. Why don't we speak about that? Crimes taking place in Pakistan. I don't care. I don't care what happens in Pakistan. I don't care what happens in USA. But I do care what happens in a country whose passport I hold and who I have family and friends. So I hope that is clear. And by highlighting something that is bad doesn't make you a traitor. If I speak on a crime, if I speak on rape, if I speak on corruption, if I, we need to highlight these issues and not act like these issues don't exist. Okay. So now having said that, um, this one is from In Shorts. Um, they give a very short snippet, so I'll read that because I read the other articles, they were too long drawn. So in this In Shorts, what it says is, the principal of BM College of Pharmacy in Indore, which is a place in India, Dr. Vimukta Sharma, she's a lady, 55 years, she was set on fire in a college campus by her student, or the student of that college, whose name was Ashutosh Sri Vastav. Okay, this took place around six days ago, uh, Feb 20th. Um, after her work was over, the day was over, 
she was on her way home in the evening. She was still in the college. This young man uh, who completed his exams and all that, means he was now an ex-student, um, he carried a bucket filled with petrol. When he spotted her, he ran towards her, threw this bucket of petrol on her, and then threw a cigarette lighter and set her in fire. And the fire spread in seconds. Now, why did he do this? The reason why he did this is because he was upset of the fact that there was delay in his mark sheet. Now, as, as per the college, as per you know, various sources that were interviewed, it seems this, this boy, this young man, Ashutosh Sri Patsav, was a 20-22 bad student. Uh, he was a troublemaker in college. He has failed in many subjects, uh, especially in his seventh semester, and because of which he started harassing the faculty members for his mark sheets. Now, I don't know why would he do that or what does he gain by harassing. Okay. He was known to have sent abusive and objectionable messages to various faculty members, including the principal. And um, he also attacked and apparently stabbed one of them. Now, the funny, he, here's the thing that really baffles me. They had the school had, or the college apparently complained to the uh, police. They had put several complaints. But the police, they never took any interest. They were not bothered. It seems that IG, uh, I don't know, IG is Inspector General Rakesh Gupta, um, he has suspended the sub-inspector Sanju Tiwari because they refused to take any action. Okay, and uh, now here's the shocking part is this lady who nearly got 80 to 90 percent burns, she died. Okay, she died. Now, you know, I, I want you to look at her photograph, the principal. She looks like someone who you would meet like someone's mother, someone's aunt, or a teacher. Like she reminded me of a teacher that I would meet, interact, talk with. And this is a human being. This is an actual human being whom, you know, you would meet. A college principal, a teacher. And just imagine this very same person was set on fire. You know, I'm, I'm getting goosebumps when I actually say that. Set on fire. That also by a young man, an Indian. In India, and we are talking of India, a culture where they say Guru Dakshina. Guru Dakshina is a term that I so vividly remember where your teacher is like your guru, where you bow. You can just uh, search this. There, you know, in uh, in ancient India, they used to have these teachers who are like um, gurus who renounced everything in the world, but they would teach. They were very knowledgeable. Students would sit down under a tree. The teacher would sit. Near the tree, they would sit down. The teacher was always raised to a pedestal, and all the students would join their hands and respect the teacher like a god. And they would even bow their head at the feet of this teacher to take the blessings. And whatever glory, whatever achievements you have, you would put it at the feet of the teacher, which was after God came parents and the teacher. In some cases, God, then teacher, then parents. So this, this culture, this tradition of India, which, which we Indians are so very aware. You know, I'm just thinking, what has gone wrong? What has suddenly changed where now they don't even have any respect for teachers? Forget respect, where they're even ready to kill. In fact, um, some of the News that you see, like I, I remember seeing this, uh, reading this somewhere. You know, PUBG, it seems uh, it's, a, it's a shooting game on the phone or something. I have not played it. Seems a shooting game, combat game, like military and all that. Uh, a mother or father, one of them refused to give the phone to their son or something. And then he killed them. He actually killed them. In one of the cases, he harmed the mother or he beat up the mother. There have been so many cases like this, and which is why it seems these games, some of these games are banned. In one of the cases, TikTok was apparently banned uh, after the Modi government and one young girl committed suicide because she was supposed to be this star, superstar of TikTok. 
you know when i when i read all this now when i hear all this i it it uh, whether you believe it or not it really upsets me it really saddens me what is happening to our youth what is happening to our young men and women where they are getting influenced by social media where they are getting influenced by tiktok where they are getting influenced by uh, you know young girls young girls calling me up and saying you know i would like to start in only fans from india girls telling that you know sugar daddies what about open sex open sex a young girl asking me uh, please give give me your guidance on how i can enjoy open sex it's um it's very disturbing it's very disturbing now who is to blame here's the question who is to blame college the teachers see if you tell me the teachers are not of that great quality or they are not you know they don't deserve whatever they are just ordinary people fine i'll agree with you they are not world class in terms of education is it because of so many challenges economic and all that uh but does that mean we we treat them like dirt doesn't mean we harm okay there are some teachers who bully students i'll agree with you there are teachers who bully students who make all these stupid stupid ass predictions your life is destroyed you will be destroyed you are this i had teachers like that there are some teachers who even beat you with a cane and all that i have had teachers like that and i've never forgiven them okay but then is the answer the solution violence yes i've seen some videos in which were shot in jammu kashmir um, college where the teacher called a uh, hindu teacher called a muslim student uh, don't act like a terrorist or something like that and the student uh, one of them put the phone on and said uh, you know give back to the teacher don't you dare call me terrorist what do you mean you are calling me terrorist what do you mean and you know the teacher was named and shamed okay fine agreed all that is there but is it okay to move towards violence physical violence and that also that also a student who is a failure a student who does not study if you study and then they are making life difficult for you i can understand you are not studying and this student was failing you know who do i blame one is him one is him because he is a grown ass man but i blame his mother and father i blame the parents and i'll tell you this the boy should be jailed for life for life because he is is insufferable he cannot change i can assure you this even if he is let out after 5 years 10 years he'll still be the same he will not change he cannot change unless it change comes from within and i doubt if his upbringing has been so flawed where he can kill a human being kill kill is not a joke okay so he should be jailed for life a- even if they give him capital punishment i don't see a problem there because we need less of these 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 rapists this murderers in our society but his parents now parents they should equally be punished why because you took on a responsibility of bringing a young man into this world a boy or girl and you did a terrible job absolutely terrible job and because of your ignorance because of your lack of uh, you know supervision or whatever you have given birth to you have created a a monster monster who can tomorrow harm another person and he has threatened and wanted to kill and i mean this is not a human being that should be left so him and the parents now now what is my concern the thing is now you know once we start hearing news of people doing things it kind of has a very dangerous effect on society because then it starts to normalize or like i'll tell you just look at the gun violence in usa you know i started off first there was one person took shooting then there are copycats then people start copying and then suddenly everyone does it and it becomes normal okay i'm angry i'll take a gun and do that is in usa and then the genders oh i'll announce the genders then it became normal and then transgenderism became normal now cutting the body parts became normal now the same thing is happening in india where for frustration and anger for a game for a girlfriend for a, people look at social media these stories and oh 
in fact uh, on tiktok and all this social media there there are even these videos where they take a gun or a knife and they stab themselves for views or oh, how does it feel if you shoot yourself in the mouth the, the actual videos like that and it's so disturbing it is so disturbing it is like what is happening here i sincerely from the heart of hearts when i looked at this lady i just it just brought back memories of a teacher of a principal of people that i knew i was thinking to myself just imagine what the family must be going through what the family must be going through and what a shame what a shame to the indian police who even though the family had complained even to the college had they didn't take any action those police inspectors or whoever they all should be banned from being police from serving the country they just they're not fit because this what has happened is such a terrible tragedy such a terrible tragedy i do not have words what to say i really don't have words what to say anyway this i i if i if i could give a message to any anybody who is young who is a college student who is a parent to any indian who is watching this we have a responsibility not just as indians not just as human beings not just as parent but i mean individually we have a responsibility to ensure that not only us but our children and the people around are given these values please i just request you i'm not asking you to change the world at least focus on doing your due diligence as a parent as a human being take care of your children and if you know any child anybody who is slight off their cookies like this who is i think we need to address the issue and if not you know report them take our children away from these people and educate them communicate with them and tell them this is not normal this is not right and this shouldn't be acceptable you know it goes in small steps that is why when i have this groups these groups that i have i discipline the youngsters there from small things small things even the language you have to respect sir madam it starts with very small and then it only goes back to us if it is not kept in check i just really had to share this video really had to share this video it was just bothering me so much let me know what are your thoughts and i'll tell you my heartfelt condolences to this these people's family obviously they would never see this video but i really feel for them and for this young man with this family you all need to be jailed for life and this young man uh he deserves capital punishment if not capital punishment he needs to be jailed for life i'm sorry but there's no hope for someone who can actually kill someone for a mark sheet and that to the sense of entitlement even though you are a failure these are my views i would like to know what are yours feel free if you agree disagree and let me know what do you think it's it's terrible for me it was a shock and that's all i can tell you all right you guys take care good bad ugly let me know your thoughts it's me signing off